All right, thank you, Jill. We're getting ready for our first event on the track, the 4x100 meter relay, the collegiate and NCAA meet records, both held by Texas A&M. They are the two-time defending champions and have the best time in the country this year, Larry. Texas A&M, Dwight, has got the fastest time, as you mentioned. They are number three in the world this year. These re this relay action is absolutely unbelievable. Take a look at these athletes that you'll have for A&M going. Jennifer Mader will lead off, passing to Ashton Purvis. On the third leg, for A&M, you'll have Kamaria Brown, and anchoring the sophomore, Aaliyah Brown, will carry the baton home for A&M. Just inside of them, Texas also good, third at the 14, 2014 NCAA championships. That is Morgan Snow, the senior. She'll pass to Maura Lakay uh, uh, Kennison, who will have the second leg. She passes to Shania, Shania Collins, and the anchor will be Kendall Baisden. And then another SET, SEC power out in lane five, Florida. These athletes know each other very well, run relay action consistently for the last couple of years. Robin Reynolds leads off. Shayla Sanders gets the baton next. She passes off to Destiny Gauze. And Kyra Jefferson, the outstanding 200-meter runner, will anchor for Florida. SEC teams have won this title 10 of the last 12 years and 20 of the last 30 years. And Jenna Prandini being announced to the crowd right there, Dwight, and she will carry the baton for Oregon as well. She is the anchor for the Oregon team, and she did a nice job in the semifinals getting them into contention. Florida has the fourth fastest time, not in, in collegiate ranks, fourth in the world. So here are the lane assignments. Purdue on the inside all the way out to Old Miss in lane eight, but the action we expect to see from three to six, Texas, Texas A&M, Florida, and LSU. And of course, it's all about baton passing. It doesn't matter how good your sprinters are if they do not pass the baton efficiently. These ladies average for every 100 meters, 10.68 seconds per woman for a 109 yards, one foot, one inch, which is 100 meters. Also need to keep our eye on Southern Cal in two and Oregon in seven. Coming up to the first exchange, pretty even so far. AM gets the stick along with Florida. Ashton Purvis against Shayla Saunders. Coming up to the second exchange, AM also passing along with Florida. Oh, oh, oh. Collision disaster for Oregon on the outside. What a disaster that was. It's very close between AM and Florida, and then USC on the inside as well. Florida with the lead, but here comes Aaliyah Brown. Can she catch? No, she cannot catch. Kyra Jefferson, which should give you a little bit of an idea which we might see in the 200 meters. Kyra Jefferson looking just spectacular in Wednesday, Wednesday semifinals. That is considered a, a mild upset. That's an SEC showdown between Florida and Texas A&M, and they deny them the three-peat. That is just outside one of the 10, 10 best times ever run then in 2015 by Florida, 42.95 seconds. And here are the exchanges that went on. It, in the middle of the track was where the action was expected to be. Florida, very fine stick pass, A&M excellent as well. Now we're coming from the second leg into the third. And this is where things really went awry for Oregon. Looking at the bottom of the screen, the athlete went out too fast. And on the anchor leg coming around the bend here, it was Florida getting the baton almost even with A&M, but the outstanding Kyra Jefferson, who has sensational 200 meter speed amongst the very best in the world, carries everything home for the Gators. That is Florida's first title ever in the 4x100 meter relay. Texas A&M getting 